do, folks, because you're going to have a you're going to have a wall on your hands. I'm telling you, there's going to be a wall. I don't like it. I hope these criminals get arrested before this happens and there's much bloodshed. But I tell you right now, this country is not going to go down without a fight. And people say, oh well, what can we do against these these dark forces? You can resist. You can resist. We're in Afghanistan. Do you know the Russian government couldn't even hold Afghanistan? They were forced out of Afghanistan. They called Afghanistan Russia's Vietnam War because of all the fighting over there, because of all the guerrilla tactics over there. Do you think it's going to be any different for the Americans? We will walk into everybody else's loss, okay, for one reason or another, and they're usually not any good. And this is the same thing over again. It's terrible. It really is. We go through this over and over again in this country. They know what they're doing. They, these criminals of our government know what's going on here. It's just, you know, it's time to wake up. It is. It's time to wake up. We really have some serious issues, and we bring them here to you folks uh, the way, the, the best way that we can. If it's a little too uh, radical for some, well, that's just too bad. That's the way it's brought together because there's urgency. There's urgency in having these things, you know, advised to people. Education is the key. Networking is the key, and this is why we're here, to educate you and tell you what's going on. It's just absolutely unthinkable that this country is going to go down and everyone's going to be asleep and accept what's going to happen to them. And I cannot understand why the people right now are not marching and demanding justice in Hardin, Montana. I don't care what kind of weapons these, 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 these uh, criminals have in their hands. Really. I really don't. I think that, you know, it's just an outrageous issue, and it needs to be looked at and examined very, very, very carefully by the citizens of Harden, because they're the ones who are directly affected. We're all going to be affected. We're all affected here. There's just no if, ands, or buts about it. It's going to happen. And, uh, you know, we really uh, have to state vehemently that folks have got to get it together. You got to oh, get maybe, you know, maybe I should time. suggest that people uh, pull out the movie Red Dawn and take a look at that because that's a good example of what we're in for, folks. Well, I can see with what's happening here now that, you know, it's uh, uh, we, we are looking at that. You know, we, we are really looking at, at a serious problem uh, going on in this country. And, uh, you know, we're, on that note, we're going to go on a, on a short break, and uh, we'll be back uh with Freedom Fighters for America Radio and Take Back America Radio Series. So we shall return momentarily. Freedom Fighters for America is located at www.freedomfightersforamerica.com. We'll return momentarily. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's Freedom Fighters for America Radio, www.freedomfightersforamerica.com. This is a constant reminder of what we should remember in our country right now. This speech was given by uh, President John F. Kennedy before he was murdered. Ladies and gentlemen, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silent, not praised. No expenditure is questioned. No secret is revealed. That is why the Athenian lawmaker Sol decreed a crime for any citizen to shrink from controversy. I am asking your help in the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people. Confidence that with your help, man will be what he was born to be, free and independent. Well, apparently that never happened now, did it? Because we're not free and independent, and nobody heeded those words, and the man didn't live long enough afterwards to uh, be able to uh, carry on that mission. Well, to further further move along here, uh, we're going to go to um, another FEMA uh, article. I'd like to go into that. You know, these, these FEMA camps are just something else. I mean, there's been, uh, you know, over a distance being found all over the place throughout the country, uh, body bags, this kind of thing. It, it's just, I mean, when are people going to wake up? When are people going to wake up? It, it gets you wondering, you know. And uh, we're bringing. Too long ago. ago. I talked with Dale Bohannon, whom I've known since. I guess the mid-1980s. And he told me something very interesting that he found back in the fall of 2000 while he was on a business trip. Listen to this, folks. I was pulled to the side road, which was uh, uh, a new cut gravel dirt road in front of the business of Builder Supply Business, actually Top Notch Builder Supply in Madison, Georgia. To my right, this was a, previously was a soybean field. Uh, and this little new cut road divided this field. And the right side of the road was filled with, uh, which I thought was portable toilets. I never looked at them that close. Same in color, maybe black. 